Hi all! Oyster Mushroom Expert is with you. Today we will analyze how much mushroom spawn is needed to inoculate the substrate. And how to properly prepare the mycelium for incorporation into the substrate. In the second part of this video, I will talk about whether the amount of mycelium affects the yield of oyster mushrooms and what happens if you put a lot, or conversely, little mycelium in the substrate. First, I will talk a little about what age of mycelium is suitable for use. It is advisable to use your purchased or made grain mycelium within 6 to 10 weeks of production. Mycelium can be used 11 or 13 weeks after production if it is of good quality and you follow the instructions for storing it. But it is advisable to count the amount of mycelium so that it is always fresh. The newly produced mycelium is the most active. It begins to grow in the substrate on the first day after inoculation. Its hyphae grow very quickly, in different directions, and the substrate grows evenly and without spots. How much spawn should be put in one bag? The generally accepted rate of application of mycelium is from 2.5 to 5% of the weight of the substrate. We must consider the type of grain that is used to prepare the mycelium. For example, millet grain is very small. On the one hand, this is good, since there are a lot of millet grains in 1 kg of mycelium. They are evenly distributed throughout the entire volume of the substrate, and the mycelium has the ability to quickly occupy the entire thickness of the compost. Therefore, you can put only 2.5% mycelium from millet and still, grains will be enough. On the other hand, millet grains are too small and lack nutrients. If your substrate has enough protein and micronutrients, the mycelium will transfer to the substrate without problems when it eats a grain of millet. If the substrate is low in nutrients, overgrowing of the substrate may slow down, and oyster mushroom competitors will take over the free space in the bag. There is mycelium grown on barley grain, some companies grow spawn on wheat grain. Barley grain is larger than wheat, but more nutritious. In our country, it is believed that the mycelium on the grain of barley overgrows better. Perhaps it depends on the composition of the substrate itself as well. However, as a rule, small mushroom growers do not have the opportunity to choose the composition of the grain and they buy the mycelium that is available. If you make your own mycelium, you can try growing it on different grain bases and compare which of the resulting mycelium grows best. Now back to the inoculation process. The mycelium must be warmed before being introduced into the substrate. It is desirable that it has a temperature approximately equal to the temperature of the substrate, plus or minus 5 degrees Celsius. If the mycelium is cold, condensation will form on it after mixing with the substrate. In this case, the grain becomes wet and the growth of mycelium may slow down. Measure the mycelium with a kitchen scale. I know that sometimes mycelium is sold not in kilograms, but in liters. Let's say a 3-liter jar with mycelium costs so much money. However, it is desirable to add mycelium to the substrate by weight, not by volume. This is due to the fact that different types of grain occupy a different volume. And the weight of a 3-liter can of mycelium will be different, depending on what type of grain was used. How is mycelium added to the substrate? You weigh the substrate and pour it onto an inoculation table or other container. If the amount of substrate is small, it is very convenient to use an old bath. It is important that the bath is free from cracks. Since the substrate can remain in the cracks and mold will quickly begin to multiply there. So, you fill up the substrate and evenly sprinkle a measured dose of mycelium on top of it. Then you must thoroughly mix the substrate. I want to make a separate video on how mushroom blocks are made and what packages to use. When it's ready, I'll add a link to the video in the comments. How to properly prepare mycelium for inoculation? First, the mycelium is kneaded in a basin, one package at a time, to single grains. In this case, the white color of the grain disappears. Do not worry, oyster mushroom mycelium is located both on the surface and inside the grain, you will not kill it. 
If each grain is located at a distance from each other, the hyphae develop equally in all directions, evenly capturing free space. Hyphae are such formations that look like threads or roots that grow and intertwine with each other until they create a dense white mass. From this mass, primordia are then formed, which grow into fruiting bodies. Do not put two packs of mycelium into the basin at the same time. Even if you only have one strain, it is possible that some packaging may be contaminated with mold or bacteria spores. If you mix such mycelium with a healthy one, you will infect a large number of blocks. In addition, the label on the package may be from a different strain. And then you can see such a picture in your growing chamber. Two completely different oyster mushrooms grow from one bag, as the strains differ both in shape and in the color of the cap. That is, you need to knead one package of mycelium in a bowl, use it and then knead the next package. I do not recommend storing an open package of mycelium. If the next inoculation will be in one or two days, take the open bag, squeeze the air out of it, press the cellophane firmly and glue it with tape. Inoculate this sealed package separately, label the blocks and observe their development. That's all for today. Have a great day and a great harvest everyone.